Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to make custom chocolate boxes with Cricut and Free Template. These beautiful custom chocolate boxes are perfect to make announcements or party favors for any occasion, such as birthdays, weddings, baby showers, Valentine's Day, and many more. And for this project, you're going to need a color printer. I am using my Canon Pixma Mega Tank printer. To cut the template, you're going to need a Cricut machine. I am using my Cricut Maker machine, printable cardstock or photo paper. I am using Koala Inject Glossy Photo Paper. This is the 61 pounds and in letter size. To assemble the boxes, you are going to need a hot glue gun. I am using the Hippo Cordless Hot Glue Gun. I have been using this hot glue gun to make these boxes and to be honest, I am very happy with it. Besides the cordless hot glue gun, this pack comes with 30 mini glue sticks, 50 popsicle sticks, 3 silicone finger cups, one silicone pad, one micro USB cable, a user's manual, and the storage bag. If you would like to know more about it, I invite you to look for the link in the video description down below. Also, you're going to need a piece of ribbon or a piece of chain. This is optional. And to close the boxes, you're going to need Velcro. I am using the sticker Velcro. I will link all the supplies used in this tutorial in the video description down below. I'm going to start working with the design on the Cricut Design Space program. Remember the free templates can be downloaded from my blog, daisymultifacetica.com. Find that link in the video description down below. Once you download them, insert them into the Cricut Canvas. The templates are going to look like this. I'm going to use the one on the left, so I'm going to erase the one on the right. Now select it and click on Group. Erase all the watermarks. The image on the right is to make a belt to close the bag in case you don't want to use Velcro. Now select the template and resize it. If you are going to print then cut, make sure it measures 6.53 by 9.25. If you're just gonna cut it, resize it to your liking. This template has several layers. Select the one on top, click on Operations, and click on Score. These ones are the scoring lines. Make sure they are all grouped. Now place them on the side, and we're going to start working on the rest of the layers. This template comes in several parts to make it easy to add the designs that will go in two different directions. If you just need to cut it without printing, you will not need the layers on top. You can cut the bigger layer on the back. I'm going to show you how to add the sign so you can print then cut these beautiful chocolate boxes. First, I'm going to insert a few pictures that I wish to use for this specific box. And here are the images that I will be using for this chocolate box. On the top part, you may either insert the logo or a picture. I will show you how to insert a picture. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to resize it. I'm going to place the top part on top of the picture. If you don't see it on top, click on Arrange and send it to the front. When ready, select both layers 
and click on slice. Now remove the layers that you don't need and place the one that has the picture on top of the main template. Make sure it's aligned. Now I'm going to place this image on the bottom part. I'm going to change the color on the background. I'm going to add a few more images on the bottom part. Now that I already added the images to the top and bottom, I'm going to start adding the birthday details to the center of the template. I am going to place a QR code and a birthday nutrition facts. If you would like to download the nutrition facts, I invite you to visit me on my blog. Find the link in the video description down below. Also there, you will find the link where you can create your barcode or QR code. Those two sources are free. The images or text that we place in the center of the template go on a different direction. Make sure you resize the images or text and then rotate it to 180 degrees. Now I'm going to add text. Go to text and start typing on the canvas. Now I'm going to change the font. Select the text, go to fonts, and if you pay the membership, click on Cricut. If you don't, click on system, and there you are going to see the list of the fonts that you have downloaded on your computer. The one that I am using is called Adorable. I'm going to link it in the video description down below. Once you finish working on the text, select it and rotate it to 180 degrees. And change the color if you wish. The template is ready. Once you finish adding the details, select all the template and click on flatten. It's very important to do this process every time we're going to print then cut. After this step, select the scoring lines and place them on top. If you don't see them, go to arrange and send them to the front. Now select both layers and click on attach. And now it's ready to be printed and cut. I'm going to move to the next step. To print, go to make it. And this is how it's going to print. Click on continue. Click on send to printer. Leave the bleed on and select Use System Dialog and then click on Print. And here you're going to select the printer, then click on Preferences. And here, either if you're printing on cardstock or photo paper, you're going to select Photo Printing. On media type, if you are using glossy photo paper, you're going to select glossy photo paper. If you are using cardstock, you're going to select matte photo paper. On quality, select high. And here, make sure you are printing on the right size. Here, we're going to select letter size or the size you are printing. Click OK, then print. 
to print the templates, I am using my Canon Pixma Mega Tank. This one is a color inject printer. After printing, we're going to select the material that we're going to cut. In this case, I am cutting photo paper, so I'm going to select photo paper. On the third step, it's telling you that you need to replace the scoring wheel if you are using your Cricut Maker. If you are using your Explore Air, you may use the scoring stylus. Remember, the scoring stylus go on the clamp A and the scoring wheel on the clamp B on the Maker. Make sure you replace the scoring tool first. In this case, I'm going to be using the scoring wheel for my Cricut Maker. If you are using a Cricut Explore Air, remember to use the scoring stylus and that one will go on the clamp A. Replace the cutting blade when finished with the scoring lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and start assembling the boxes. To assemble the boxes I'm going to be using my Hippo cordless hot glue gun. Remember if you would like to know more about this product, find the link in the video description down below. To close the box, I am going to use Velcro. This one is the sticker Velcro. If you don't wish to use Velcro, you may close them using this method. All of this is included with the free template. This is optional, but I am going to place a handle using a piece of ribbon. You may also use a piece of chain. And here we have the beautiful custom Hershey chocolate boxes made with free template and Cricut print and cut. Remember to check the description below since there you will find the links of all the supplies, fonts and templates used in this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.